Hey everyone, um, impromptu video, I just wanted to record a couple of things. The first one is, there's a video called Don't Talk to Police, or maybe it's called Don't Talk to Cops, but it's very well known, it's famous. If you search for it, you will find it. It's a law professor and um, a police investigator, and basically they lay out the case for why you don't talk to police, like, ever. And the basic idea boils down to the fact that nothing you say can be used to exonerate you. Nothing you say can ever, in court, be used to do anything to benefit you. But anything you say can and will be used against you. So there's only one direction to go, and that's closer to being a modern slave in a private prison. So because of that, you're not supposed to talk to police. However, one of the things that gets said in that video is the reason I'm making this one. And that is the advice that you don't talk to police without your lawyer present. Even with your lawyer present, you don't talk to police. Now, here's the other thing. Police does not just mean police. It means any agent of the government, because once someone is a government agent, like, say, a person doing another job for the government that comes by your house and talks to you, once someone is a government agent, they have an elevated status with the government, and if they make a complaint, like if they see, say, a child that's dirty, and they assume that that child is sleeping in a filthy, nasty room, as a result, rather than having just come in from the muddy backyard. That complaint gets a lot of weight. That complaint, because they are a government agent, carries more weight than a standard person. Because they're, they're a government agent. Do I really have to even explain that? So the problem, and I've, I've got a very itchy face, I'm sorry. The problem that I have is that there is nothing that benefits you by talking to the authorities ever. Never can anything you say to an authority figure be used in any way that helps you when it comes down to criminal court. Now, yes, there are some situations where maybe it might help you. And, you know, people have talked to police that pulled them over and had the police give them a break. You can't rely on that. Because, you know what happens if the police pull you over and say, Oh, I was, I was going nine over, wasn't I? Yeah, you just admitted to committing a crime. Idiot. So, don't do that. But the problem is, if, say, they're investigating a murder, and they come by and they talk to you, and you say anything, anything, even if your lawyer's there, it can only be used against you. End of story. It can never be used for you. Period. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter that your lawyer's present. Your lawyer being present doesn't magically make what you say to an officer of the court suddenly become some kind of like, oh, well, now it can help you because your lawyer was sitting there too and saying, oh, it's okay. You can answer that question. That's fine. And then you answer the question and the lawyer's like, oh, crap. He just admitted to committing a crime. No. Stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. So, if any agent of the government comes beating on your door wanting to talk to you, looking through the crack of your door when you open it, whatever. The only things that they need to hear are the following. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. I do not consent to any searches. I do not answer questions. Get off my property. That's it. This is my beef with I don't talk or don't talk to police and that's the end of it. I hope that this has been enlightening.